At only eight years old, Momchilo Gavrich became the youngest soldier of World War I. 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand is assassinated by Gavrilo Princip, a Bosnian Serb and a member of Young Bosnia, a separatist movement. Because of that, Austro-Hungary blames Serbia and sends the Serbian government an ultimatum which they refuse. This leads to Austro-Hungary declaring war on Serbia and after many alliances have been pulled to the outbreak of the Great War. Born in 1906, near the town of Loznica in western Serbia, Momčilo Gavrić was only 8 years old when Austro-Hungarian soldiers entered his village, killing his parents, grandmother, seven of his siblings and burning his home. The young boy survived only because his father sent him to pick up some farming tools from his uncle. Returning home, Momčilo saw his dead family. Realizing what happened, he went on to search for help from the Serbian army. And he found it at Mount Kučevo, where the 6th Serbian Artillery Division was stationed. Telling the commander his story, Momčilo was accepted into the division as a war orphan, and a soldier named Miloš Mišović was assigned as his caretaker. The boy pinpointed the location of the Austro-Hungarian soldiers, and that same evening, Momčilo's new division avenged his family. The 6th Artillery Division soon took part in the Battle of Cer, during which Momčilo was allowed to fire the cannon. After the battle ended, Momčilo got a new uniform specifically tailored for him and got promoted to the rank of corporal, becoming the youngest corporal in history. In 1915, Serbia's resistance against Austro-Hungarian, German and Bulgarian forces ultimately failed. But the Serbian government refused to capitulate. This gave the Serbian army only one option, a retreat to Greece through the cold mountains of Albania. This event is often called the Albanian Golgotha, illustrating the horrible reality of crossing the mountains during winter. And even though many of his comrades died, the young boy managed to survive thanks to his caretaker, who protected him from the cold. When he got to Corfu, Momčilo was given some form of education, but he soon continued the fight. During the Battle of Kaimakchalan in 1916, he met the chief commander, Živojn Mišić, who was at first mad that the little boy was a part of the battle. But after hearing his story, he was impressed by Momčilo's bravery and promoted him to surgeon. Momčilo was wounded a couple of times until the end of the Great War, after which he was granted a scholarship in Great Britain. Returning home, he met with the remaining members of his family. In 1929, even though Momčilo provided all of the papers that he already served in the army, nobody believed him, and he was legally required to serve. But because he refused to, he was sentenced to two years of prison. Continuing with his life, Momčilo found a job at a paper factory, acquired a driver's license, and got married. And even though he was sent to a concentration camp during World War II, Momčilo lived in Belgrade until 1993, when he died at the age of 87. Thank you for watching this video. For more interesting stories about history, make sure to subscribe to Imperium Popolorum.